Whether you decide to eat a 100% raw vegan diet, just add more fruits and vegetables to your diet, or continue eating your standard American diet, if you understand the concepts of the formula of health, or for health, you'll understand why we get sick and how we can be better. And basically what it comes down to is, uh, there, there's a, a big motivator for us to so-called be healthy, and that is disease. How many people in this room, by show of hands, has ever experienced disease? How many of you have enjoyed it? Uh, disease is a wonderful motivator to do something. And disease sounds like a serious word, but it really means discomfort. Because if somebody experiences disease, but they don't feel the discomfort of disease, they actually get attached to their disease. You get special benefits, you get special attention, and everything else. It's the pain of disease that motivates people to do something about it, not the disease itself. So when people start experiencing that pain, then they have that choice. So I'm going to go to my doctor, am I going to try something natural, or am I going to do a combination of both? And we look at the formula for health and we'll see what the answer is. First question is, you all raised your hands and said you've experienced disease. So my question is, is, how do you know when you have a disease? And, what we have to, and then what causes disease? These are two important things to understand. The first thing is, how do we know we have a disease? What are the signs of disease? Here's the problem. There's only one disease with many different stages. Many of us don't feel the pain of disease until it's in the later stages. And that's when we do something about it. Well, I say if you do something about it in the beginning stages, you won't have to worry about the later stages. But if we keep ignoring it, ignoring it, then we're going to have a problem. So let's look at the beginning signs of disease. The problem is the beginning signs of disease are so common in today's world that people don't take it as the beginning signs of disease. People just take it as that's the way it's supposed to be. The two beginning signs of disease is laziness and constipation. Laziness and constipation are the two beginning signs of disease. And if somebody told you different, you've been lied to. As a matter of fact, I know people that are so lazy, they're happy, they're constipated, so they don't got to get up and go to the bathroom. <laughs> Some people deny that, but I don't know if people that are full of something. But, but, but this is it. Laziness and constipation are two beginning signs. Now, what is creating this disease? There are many factors and many things we do not have control over, but let's look at the practical things we do. There's two things we need to focus on, and this goes right along with the formula for health. And those two things are overeating and undersleeping. Overeating and undersleeping. We can get away with a lot of things, but these are two things that will enhance our laziness and our constipation quicker than anything else. Overeating and undersleeping. You can't do one without the other. Sleeping is another word for healing. And the better your sleep and rest, the better your healing. When you cut your sleep short, you cut your healing short. So I tell this to people, and they say, what am I supposed to do? Stay in bed all day and not go to work? No, find out why you require so much sleep. Because if we're not creating so much energy in our body or using so much energy, we won't require so much sleep. The majority of us, or all of us, are born with a good amount of energy and very little, uh, or, or power, and very little obstruction. That's just the way it is. Even if we come from a, a, a weak uh, generic, line, generic line, we have a good amount of power and very little obstruction. As long as we have more power or energy than the obstruction, and the obstruction is the stress the obstruction is the, the things that physically cause damage to our body. As long as we have more power or energy than obstruction, we're in some state of health. But these things can't move in the same direction. And as your energy levels are going down, or your power is going down, and this isn't a mystical thing, this is, uh, this is proven scientifically, and you could say it's uh, mystical, but not mystical. And then when our, but our, our our obstruction goes up. And the reason why everyone starts suffering from disease at a different stage in life is all about this. As, as soon as our obstruction passes the power to get rid of the obstruction, we start experiencing the beginning signs of disease. And if we just ignore that, it keeps going like this. 
Now we have the latest signs of disease with no energy to do something about it. At that point, most people will go to the doctor. And a doctor will give them some drug to make it even worse. But if we understand the disease happened because we created such a, a energy usage on our body, uh, all we got to do is start reversing that. So we eliminate what caused the problem, start getting that rest, and it starts changing again. And slowly but surely, we start getting better. And, and, and the reason why people go to doctors is because doctors might give you a drug to take away that pain that so many people hate of disease. But it doesn't take away the disease. The disease is still there. So if somebody with cancer might be, or down here with energy-wise, with all this later stages of disease, doctor just makes it worse. But we can turn that around. And to turn that around, we look at uh, how we're eating and when we're eating and why we're eating. We look at the amount of food we're eating. Power minus obstruction equals vitality. So think about this, your cell phone at nighttime. Before you go to sleep, you plug it in. To do what? To charge it. And when you wake up in the morning, it's fully charged. What happens if you're going to go to sleep at 11 o'clock at night and you go to charge your phone, but at 11.15 it gets unplugged? In the morning it's not going to be fully charged. But our bodies aren't like a cell phone battery because then you can just charge it up again. But our bodies are like a cell phone battery because if we don't give it the right amount of time of rest or recharging each night, the next day we're not going to be at our best. Our immune system is going to be as weak as possible. Our obstruction is going to be higher and so on. Day after day after day of this happening, we are creating this lack of healing through lack of sleep and this problem when it comes to overeating. Remember, overeating and undersleeping. So the answer isn't to stay in bed all day and get the sleep we need. The answer is to figure out why we need to eat so much. Because if we eat less, we need less sleep and rest.